helping me with this, you two. When the specifier called about the lighting package for the new space, I was a little intimidated. Happy to help. No problem. I wanted your input because I just don't know enough about the latest in lighting, and I wanted to make sure we get what we need. Sure. And I know you had some opinions about operating costs. I want to make sure we stay within budget. Yeah, so do I. Right. I have always dreamed of having a chance to pick an entire inventory of new lighting fixtures. Well, today's the day. Finally, I get the equipment I need. Sparkling new ellipsoidals, fully functional Fresnels, moving lights that are right for my space. My space. Wash lights, fill lights, psych lights, spotlights. It will be beautiful. Yes, it will. All LEDs, of course. Hmm? From everything I've read, LEDs are the future. They last longer, they're cheaper to run. They're cutting edge technology, and that's what we need. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, hmm? LEDs have a lot to offer, but the quality of light from them can be a little unflattering. Now, tungsten fixtures, tried and true, give us the sort of light that we like to see on actors. It's very true. Antiquated. We wanted cutting edge for this theater, didn't we? LEDs are it. Besides, they can change color without that, uh, that, uh, the color film gel that we spend so much money on every year. And I found out LEDs dim themselves, which means we can also cut all those dimmer racks that cost so much as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are not cutting the dimmer racks. LEDs are great for bars and rock and roll, but this is theater. They have no place here, and if cost is your concern, I can buy five Source 4s for the price of a single LED fixture. And waste all that dough on technology from last century? I don't think so. LEDs are the future, and you're obviously stuck in the past. Stuck? You want to talk stuck? LED technology is changing so quickly, if we buy now, we'll be stuck with fixtures that'll be outdated before we open. Gentlemen. Outdated, like your designs? More like your wardrobe. Gentlemen, please. Let's keep it professional. I'm trying, believe me, but Numbers over here wants to make that impossible. I am simply advising the newest, most economical solution. Light is light. Who cares what kind of fixture it comes from? I do. I hear both of you. Can we find a compromise? Isn't there some way to satisfy you both? There certainly is. Oh, Bobblehead Fred! Planning the lighting for this new theater is such a challenge. LEDs, tungsten, energy, color mixing, cost. I just don't know enough to make the right decision. Is there some way to incorporate the new technology without sacrificing old methods? Sure there is. Come with me and I'll show you how. Where are we going? Right here. These plans will give us a clean slate. Take my arm and we'll plan your new light plot together. Wow. It's so empty. Then you'll have to fill it up. I don't even know where to start. Sure you do. You know where you need lights. Okay. I'll need my front lights. My side lights. <laughs> my top lights. And my sight lights. Now you're talking. Yes, but what kind? LEDs? They are the latest thing, and they save on energy costs. Like other technologies, LEDs have certainly made their place in the lighting world. And they have a lot to offer. It's true, they use less energy, they can change colors without using gel, and they offer a lot of brightness in heavily saturated colors. In addition, they don't require a dimmer. So there's extra savings to be found in your dimming costs as well. That's great. So I guess I do want LEDs then. Slow down there, boss. Those were the advantages. But LEDs have their drawbacks too. Oh, right. Like price. You got it. The upfront cost of an LED fixture can be quite a surprise when you're used to buying tungsten. LEDs eat up your budget pretty quickly. And what's more, when it comes to lighter colors and that warm, glowing white we like to see on the stage, it takes a lot more dough using LEDs to create the same level of brightness as tungsten. I didn't know that. Why? It's all about the quality of light. You see, warm white light is hard to produce with LEDs. Most LED fixtures out there don't even come close to producing a full spectrum of visible light. It takes a lot of different colors being activated at once to even start to recreate the continuous spectrum of tungsten. As a result, the closer you get to white, the more it costs you in brightness. 
So while the watts used by an LED fixture are less, with white light, the number of lumens you get from that fixture are less as well. I do like the punch that our ellipsoidals have, but compared to LEDs, they use so many watts. I want this theater to be energy conscious. Well, remember, efficiency is not just about the watts. It's about the lumens per watt. What good is an efficient fixture if it just takes more of them to get enough light? Okay, so if I get more lumens per watt, I'm being even more efficient. Right. That's called efficacy. And some LED fixtures aren't as efficacious as tungsten. I see your point. The energy savings of LEDs come with a cost. But tell me honestly, BF, doesn't ETC make a lot of tungsten fixtures and dimmers? Aren't you steering me away from LEDs just to protect your sales? <laughs> Who said I'm steering you away? Like I said, LEDs have certainly earned a place in your light plot. That's why ETC has been making great LED fixtures for years. But what about the quality of light? You make fixtures with terrible light? <laughs> not a chance. Fortunately, not all LEDs are created equal. ETC has worked hard to create our unique X7 color mixing system, which produces a warm white that puts RGB and four-color LEDs to shame. Not quite as good as tungsten, but better than anybody else. And now we've developed our new Source 4 LED, which offers all of the great features of a traditional Source 4 and all the benefits of an LED fixture, plus X7 color mixing. Now, sure, we want LEDs in your system, but it doesn't have to be an all-or-nothing thing. It doesn't? Of course not. You can create a hybrid theater. Lighting technology has always been evolving. Naturally, when new technologies pop up, designers try to incorporate them. When moving lights first came around, many said they had no place in theater. But as the technology evolved, eventually designers saw the benefits that movers offered and they incorporated them into their designs. Ours sure did. LEDs offer the same opportunity. There are things they are good at, like energy savings, bright colors, and color control, and things that are harder for them, like making bright or warm whites. This just proves they aren't the cure-all that many want them to be, but they are another really useful tool for your lighting toolbox. Is that what you mean by creating a hybrid theater? That's right. Instead of replacing all of your tungsten fixtures with LEDs, or keeping LEDs out of your plot entirely, you can create layers of light by using them in combination. You hang your tungsten ellipsoidal where it's needed, but right next to it, you hang an LED ellipsoidal as well. That way you can still have the powerful white punch of the Source 4, and you gain the color mixing and bright saturated colors from the LED. Two fixtures from the same position? Haven't you just compounded my cost? Isn't there any way to save money with LEDs? Absolutely. Think about it. With tungsten only, you needed multiple fixtures, or color scrollers, from the same position to create all of those looks you wanted. And all of those extra fixtures still needed dimmers as well. And to get bright, saturated colors, you needed even more fixtures from the same location. And all the dimmers to run them. Talk about a compounded expense. With the hybrid theater, you get the best of both technologies. You get the energy and dimming savings that LEDs offer, along with the bright, saturated colors. But you still get your powerful punch from tungsten and that warm, quality whites that only they produce. So I can find some savings. And I can protect the quality of light. You got it. And your designers will get to expand their artistic capabilities with this new tool in their inventory. I get it now, Bobblehead Fred. Thanks so much for your help. My pleasure. Now get back to planning that inventory. Gentlemen, I've got it. We can integrate both LEDs and tungsten into our new system. How? We'll build a hybrid theater. <laughs> <laughs>